Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about how to return the ball that comes off that side glass with slice, particularly from the serve. So this is something that we get asked a lot and it's something that I see a lot in the analysis that players are struggling when the server hits that ball into this corner with a little bit of slice and it comes fast off the glass, what they as a returner should be doing. So in this video, we're gonna give you three tips how you can return that ball. Now there are a few different common errors with this shot. The first common error is that players freeze and this might be down to indecision, they haven't decided whether they're gonna play before the glass or after, or they're in this position and it hits the glass and they kind of just panic a little bit. And this is when the server, they serve into that glass and instead of moving feet into position, they end up kind of waiting for the ball to come to them and hope it comes to them off the glass because they're not really sure what they should be doing. The second one, is that players step towards the glass. And this happens a lot where the serve goes into the glass and the players, they step across to try and play that ball, but it ends up coming into their body because they've gone close to the glass. And the rebound has meant that it's a very difficult shot for them to hit. So before we go into the three tips, we're gonna talk about the most important decision, which is deciding to play it before or after the glass. Now, as a general guideline, if the ball hits this front panel of glass, so from this separation up to the fence. If it's gonna hit this part of the glass, it's good to let it hit the glass and come off and play that ball. If it's gonna hit the back part, then you want to try and take it before because if you do let it hit the glass back here, then you're gonna get jammed into the corner and it's gonna be difficult to return. And also if it hits the front part of the glass, it's often very difficult to get there before it hits the glass. So as a general guideline, front part of the glass, you let it hit the glass come away. If it hits the back part of the glass or it's going to hit the back part of the glass, then you want to try and take it before. And if you have that in your mind, a clear, simple decision before and after, hopefully that will make it easier for you to make the decision when the person's serving. And what you should try and do is as soon as they've served, make that decision. If it's the wrong decision, then at least you can learn for the next time. But it's better to make a decision and be wrong than to not make a decision and just freeze in your place. Here you can see this decision is made even before the ball bounces. I'm moving backwards because I know it's gonna hit the front part of the glass and I get ready to hit after the rebound. The first tip is to prepare your racket down low early. So from your ready position, you immediately bring the racket down to this position. If it is a good serve with a bit of slice, then it's gonna hit the glass and it's gonna stay relatively low. So you need to have that racket already down here so that you can just pick that ball up with one smooth action. You don't want to have the racket back here and then have to kind of swipe at it when you don't have time, or you don't want to take your racket back too far. So what you want to do is make sure that that racket is down here, is ready to receive the ball, and all you need to do is just pick up gently after that ball has come off the glass, because all you really do is just guiding it back to the other side of the court. Getting your racket back early makes this shot so much easier. You can see here that my racket is already back before the ball has even bounced. It's right in that position so that all I have to do is then swing through to the shot after the rebound. The second tip is to have little steps to get yourself into position. So once that racket's down, you want to have little steps to adjust so that when the ball comes off the glass, you're in the right place. If you take one lunging step, you're gonna be in the wrong position, or if you are in the wrong position, then it's gonna be very difficult to hit the ball, yeah? So the racket goes down, little steps into position, you're giving yourself space for the ball to come off the glass, and then you'll end up picking that ball low off the glass. This is really common that players are trying to avoid using that side glass by standing so close to the glass. But all that does is means that you don't have space to hit that ball properly after the glass. So you don't really want to be in that position for the return. The third tip is go for a simple return. If it is a good serve with slice, you don't want to try and do anything fancy because more than likely you're going to make a mistake. So when you're in this position, you just want to try and block this ball back to the server. If you can get it to his feet, even better. But to go for a difficult lob or an angle ball to the fence or something that is a little bit more extravagant, then you're probably going to make a mistake. So just keep that simple. As a little bonus tip for this shot, if you're coming across a serve that's very good and it stays really low, a good tip is to just drop your racket head a little bit because from this position, it's gonna be easier for you to pick up. If the racket head is higher, it's got further to go. So you want to have really that racket back in a position that's as close as possible 
to the swing path to the contact, if that makes sense. So the racket is here and you're just picking up to here. As simple as this action can be, the easier it is for you to get that ball over the net and into the place that you want it at the far end. I hope you like that video. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll put a playlist of videos for the return on this side so that here we talk about where you should be returning, how to return and discuss some more options about the return.